Hi guys, it's Miss Pressler. So let's take a look at how we solve a Punnett square problem. So first we have purple dragons are recessive to black ones. So we can underline that. Purple dragons are recessive to black ones. Okay, so that means the black ones then are dominant. Cross a heterozygous black dragon with a purple dragon. Okay, so those are the important parts that we underline. Now, how do we set up our Punnett square? So, a couple things we need to do first. We need to make a key. So, if you are a purple dragon, so we know that purple is recessive. How does that look then? Well, we can use any letters to represent our alleles, but we have to be consistent. So we want to talk about dragons, we can do D, so let's use the letter D. And if it's recessive, we know that it's going to show for the homozygous recessive genotype, right? So that will be little d, little d. That's our only option for recessive. So then we have black. Black dragons, they are dominant. We know we have two versions for dominant, two genotypes. So they must show for at least one dominant allele. So we can use capital D and we can show for another capital D here, another allele, and that'll be homozygous dominant. Or the other option is capital D and lowercase d. That's heterozygous. So let's go back and label. This is homozygous recessive. This one here is homozygous dom. And this one is heterozygous. Right? So we're halfway through it, right? So what are our parents? One parent is heterozygous black. The other parent is a purple. So let's jump down here where we have room to do our Punnett square. So parent one and parent two. So parent one 